Hey guys, welcome to this month's subscriber update. For those who are new to the channel or just subscribed, welcome for coming. What I do is I do a subscriber update once a month. I delete the oldest subscriber update so that there's this month and last month's up. And go down through, cover a couple of things that really aren't worth covering in the primary videos that I do on the how-tos. Uh, basically what's going on around in life and you know what you guys might want to see on the side that you've been plaguing me in comments about. Um, one thing I would like to bring up in the beginning of this one is the main Mudmore Facebook group has exploded. We are almost at, we'll probably be at about 1,800 members by the time this video is up on the air. And because of that, I've decided to start a page kind of like what Fearless Front has. Um, as a public profile page so that I can start posting up build photos to that because they're getting buried on the main Mudmores Facebook group. Uh, we got a lot of young gunners coming in, a lot of kids that are help, were helping out and that's exactly what I built it for but it's time to move on and grow up from it. So the main Mudmores group is still there. I'll still be posting to it but during parts of my builds I'll probably be posting photos directly to my uh, Redneck Computer Geek profile that's going to be up on Facebook. I'll post a link for that in the description on this video. But anyways, it's spring, finally. As you can see, finally starting to thaw out. You know, kind of. But we're starting to thaw out. The power wheels hopefully will come unthawed soon. I'd like to try and do that build at some point. And I haven't quite decided what the next candidate for a build is going to be. We've got an MTD, we've got a GT6000, we've got the Lawn Chief, which needs an engine, but it does have a 700 tranny in it. So I've got ideas as far as that's concerned. And you all know what wide body Murray's look like. Not really sure what to do with that. Most of the Murray stuff's been there, done that. So we had to make the plow for Maine Mudmore, mainly because my plow truck, you can see. Well, I walked out one day and there was this giant red puddle underneath. I'm not sure what went in the tranny, but the whole entire bell housing is drowning drowning in red fluid. So, that particular series of transmission is known for blowing torque converters, so we'll tear that apart. That will be in a subscriber update in the next couple of months. We ended up with a bunch of new chickens. Figured I'd show you those. There's our duck Gertrude. And... The wife managed to get a bunch of new birds for free, like this one, and the new rooster, and all the other ones there. So with all the new birds, you'll definitely have something to gripe about in all my films this summer. We're going to have to uh, make a couple of roosters disappear onto the kitchen table at some point. So let's go take a look inside. A lot of you guys have been asking about the hydro build and why it is I haven't posted any updates since it should have just been something stupid and simple like adjusting and taking a uh, link out of the chains on each side. So I guess I better explain myself at this point. So there's Main Mudder. He's got his plow. We'll slowly come back here, and there is a gutted transaxle housing, and there is another gutted transaxle housing, and there's what used to be a pump, and there's some random parts. So my learning experience that I had was that on these transaxles, if you go to buy parts for them, and you look them up on searsparts.com, Sears Parts Direct or SearsParts.com, whatever it is, and you look it up, they say that the pump assembly is non-serviceable. 
Well, I figured I'd tear it apart and I'd see if I could clean it up and stuff like that because the pump tends to be what dies in these. And the machine that this came out of, which was this one here, had a lot of hours on it already. You could tell the headlights had already glazed with um, yellow coloring. The paint is definitely not in the best. So I knew it had already seen a lot of use. Well, I tore the pump out and I found out that you cannot put the pump back in without special stupid tools and everything else. So, unfortunately guys, I killed it. The thing is, we're not totally dead in the water. We've got the whole rear differential assembly, so I'm looking for another hydro gear to throw in. And if we come over here, yes I know I'm doing that thing that I really hate other people do where they walk around. If you look out the window, right there, you can see there's a gray craftsman. It should have a matching hydro gear in it. The problem is that big snowbank thing. So we will be getting back to the hydro build. I'm going to sacrifice my actual tractor that I mow with just so that you guys can still have videos to watch. Don't tell the wife. She'll be really mad if she finds out I tore apart the only one that actually mows the lawn. And so in the meantime, we're going to get back to the go-kart build. A lot of you guys have asked to see the go-kart build go up. I've been kind of stuck on it for the last couple of months because I've had issues. But I've gotten on to ATLTF.com. I talked with those guys. And we've come up with a couple of ideas for setting up the clutch assembly. I mean, gas pedal is pretty straightforward. It's just set the damn thing up and run the cable back. But we've come up with a couple of ideas for running the clutch. And going to build a bracket, mount the gas tank up above it, and make some sort of mount in order to put an actual car seat on it maybe. Reinforce the frame a little bit because it does flex more than I would like. So this will be what we're going to be working on the next month. Because the zinc locker has taken a beating. I'm waiting for everything to unthaw and be able to take it for a couple of mud runs around the house. Uh, for you new guys, I built a mud pit last year. And so we'll take this down through it and we'll mud it with the zinc locker and see what it does. Maybe take it down into the pond, maybe take it down into the gully and let the bear claws dig out the gully for me. But that's what we're at right now. So, basically, the, uh, the hydro mudder build is on hold until I can get a hold of another hydro gear transaxle. They are starting to show up on eBay, so I might just buy one outright, but finances really aren't there right now. And, you know, I need to get back to the go-kart build anyway. So, we're going to get on the go-kart, we're going to get that up and running, and see what we can do there. Have fun, guys. Bye.